The new to enteral feeding video series is presented by Cardinal Health to help patients, families, and caregivers better understand enteral feeding. This video is the first in the series and will provide an overview for those who are new to enteral feeding. Enteral feeding is also called enteral therapy or tube feeding. It's for anyone from infant to adult who cannot get all the nutrition they need from eating by mouth. Nutritional insufficiency describes a condition in which someone is unable to meet their nutrition needs. Healthcare providers may prescribe their patients enteral feeding to help reduce the risk of worsening nutritional insufficiency, which, if left untreated, may lead to other health problems. All types of people receive nutrition through enteral feeding every day, and it can be for a variety of reasons. Some people can't swallow or digest foods easily. Others can't absorb enough nutrients from food. And some may have a condition that interferes with their metabolism or the ability to eat the way they're used to. While some people receive enteral feeding for a short time, others may rely on tube feeding for a longer time, even throughout their lifetime. Fortunately, there are options that support enteral feeding needs and to help people with a feeding tube live healthy lives. For most people, Enteral feeding means delivering a special liquid formula through an access tube directly into the stomach or the small intestine. These formulas contain the nutrients they need for energy and optimal health, including proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water. The type of device that delivers formula usually depends on how long it is needed. Patients that need enteral feeding for 30 days or less have a short-term need, Enteral feeding for more than 30 days is generally considered long-term. The type of feeding tube needed will be determined by a doctor after the patient's medical condition, gastrointestinal function, and anatomy are assessed. For short-term enteral feeding, a tube is inserted through the nose until it reaches either the stomach or small bowel. These are called nasogastric tubes, which are often simply referred to as NG tubes, or nasojejunal tubes, which are referred to as NJ tubes. These are typically placed and removed by a healthcare professional and do not require surgery. For long-term enteral feeding, a feeding tube may be placed surgically in a healthcare setting. A common device for long-term enteral feeding is called a gastrostomy tube, or G-tube for short, which is placed directly into the stomach. In comparison, a jejunostomy tube, or J-tube for short, is placed directly into the small bowel. Alternatively, a skin-level device may be used once a tube is placed, nutrition or water can be delivered into the body. The three ways of delivering nutrition are via enteral feeding pump, enteral feeding syringe, or gravity. An enteral feeding pump is a programmable mechanical device typically used when enteral fluids need to be administered over a certain amount of time. A feeding pump can deliver continuous feeding, which is done at a programmable rate over a 24-hour period, or it can provide intermittent feeding which is a preset rate infused frequently over shorter periods of time, like 20 to 60 minutes. Olus feeding is another way of delivering enteral fluid. It relies on the use of an enteral feeding syringe that delivers formula manually and directly into a feeding tube over a short period of time. The third delivery method of enteral feeding is via gravity. When using the gravity method, enteral fluid is delivered without a pump or syringe. Gravity feeding simply relies on gravity to pull the enteral fluid from a bag. The method of enteral feeding prescribed is based on medical needs, personal preference, and a consultation with healthcare providers. To learn more about enteral feeding, check out the other videos in the new to enteral feeding series from Cardinal Health.